cerebellum guys in the cerebellum first thing in the cerebellum we need to understand that this is the histological section that's how the question was asked recently uh, in the cerebellum we first need to see that the cerebellar cortex the gray matter of cerebellum is divided in three part this whole thing is the cerebellar cortex here guys if i just say this here is cerebellar cortex and there are three layers in the cerebellar cortex this outer layer of the cerebellar cortex here is called as the molecular layer this middle layer where you can see all these purkinje cells here is simply called as a purkinje layer and the inner layer as you can see there's so much of granular mass you can see the granular structures you can see that's why it is called as a granular layer molecular layer purkinje layer and granular layer the three layers of the cerebellar cortex now in the molecular layer in the molecular layer guys we have two types of cells present now it's not easy to differentiate these cells in the in the histology hne histological section here but remember in the molecular layer there are two types of cells we have the stellate cells and we have basket cells stellate cells and basket cells i'm writing on this side because i i can use the other side to show you some tracks here the stellate cells are basket cells purkinje layer is all about these large flask shape purkinje cells and if i just just draw one purkinje cell for you it's like purkinje cell is like this will be having its dendrite running like this and exon of the purkinje cell will be seen going out of the cortex as well like this in this manner so that purkinje layer is all about this purkinje layer is all about the purkinje cells granular layer is having mainly two types of cell inside one of them is called as a granule cells granule cells and then we have golgi cells also granule and golgi so in the three layers of cerebellar cortex molecular layer purkinje layer and granular layer we have total five types of cell three layers of the cortex one to this 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 layer where only we have this large cell see that's a purkinje layer and then this all this granular thing it's a granular layer here so we have two types of cell over there and these are supporting cells only stellate cell basket cell this just the supporting cells here then we have purkinje cell and then we have the granule and golgi cell in the granular layer important thing is guys out of all the five types of cell only granule cell only the granule cell are excitatory in nature rest all are inhibitory purkinje golgi basket stellate all of them are the inhibitory cells here all of them are inhibitory cell which tells me because granule cell is the excitatory cell it's the only excitatory cell so out of five types of cell only one is excitatory so that tells me that cerebellar cortex is the largest collection of inhibitory neuron if, if they ask you this question that where do you find the maximum number of inhibitory neuron here it is maximum number of inhibitory neurons are in the cerebellar cortex so maximum number of inhibitory neurons are in the cerebellar cortex purkinje cell another important thing about purkinje cell they are largest cells of course here purkinje is the only cell which will be going out of the cortex here you can see it is going out of the cortex it is going to the white matter here so purkinje cell the question on the purkinje cell is it is the only cell which is forming efferent which is forming efferent from cortex the important thing is from cortex not out of the cerebellum that's an important thing to note guys purkinje cell are the only cells which are forming the efferent from the cortex they are exiting the cortex no other cell inside is coming out of the cortex here the only cell which is having an extension out of the cortex is the purkinje cell the question is where exactly purkinje cell is going purkinje cell is not going out of the cerebellum purkinje cell is basically projecting into the nuclei and those nuclei are called as deep cerebellar nuclei purkinje cell project to the nuclei in the white matter of cerebellum and those nuclei are called as a deep cerebellar nuclei and these deep cerebellar nuclei guys you people know the deep cerebellar nuclei with the name of there is a nucleus called as a dentate nucleus it's a big nucleus dentate nucleus shaped like this you can see it in the 
with the naked eye also in the fresh section dentate nucleus there is emboliform nucleus there is a sphastigial nucleus there is a globose nucleus dentate emboliform festigial and globose these are the nuclei which are present in the cerebellum d e f g from the alphabetic sequence you can remember d e f g dentate out of this the one that you have to remember here is dentate nucleus because dentate nucleus is the largest of all it is the largest nuclei dentate is the largest nuclei and guys this is the nucleus of neocerebellum now again don't go into that part just remember the most advanced part of cerebellum is the posterior lobe which we call neocerebellum so it is a nucleus of neocerebellum dentate is a nucleus of neocerebellum what do you mean by nucleus of neocerebellum that means it will receive the purkinje fibers from the neocerebellum nucleus of neocerebellum means that this nucleus is dentate nucleus will receive the purkinje fiber you can see purkinje fiber coming to it it receives the purkinje fiber from the uh, from the neocerebellum that's why we call it the nucleus of neocerebellum and all these deep cerebellar nuclei from the deep cerebellar nuclei you will see the efferent you will see the efferent out of cerebellum efferent going out of cerebellum so what i'm trying to say guys there are two different questions here if the question says that what cells or what forms the efferent from the cortex cerebellar cortex so efferent from the cortex is coming from where from the purkinje cell but that is not going out of the cerebellum that is going from the gray matter to the white matter only because in the white matter of cerebellum we have deep cerebellar nuclei and from the deep cerebellar nuclei from the deep cerebellar nuclei then the efferent will go out of the cerebellum here so when you see those peduncles there the the efferent which is going out of the peduncle it is going out of the the deep cerebellar nuclei and not the purkinje cell here so two different question efferent from the cortex purkinje cell efferent from cerebellum as such is coming from deep cerebellar nuclei the deep cerebellar nuclei 